Hey guys, this is Torgal. Welcome back to Mod Sauce 2. Last time we started with the ore processing setup project that I have planned for uh, via immersive engineering. And today we're going to continue with that, of course. And I got lots of stuff prepared for this. And don't worry, I'll go through all of it step by step when we set it up. But first, I need a nether star. And renovate, place this wither killer here from practicalities. Um, at spawn, it just costs a lot of diamonds, and you also need to kill, I think, eight withers by hand. And, you know, honestly, in modded Minecraft, killing a wither is nothing special. So I'm not going to even go out and kill it in the nether. I'm just going to use this right here because, well, it's awesome that we have it. And all you do is put this in here like a that, and you see it's gone, and you hear the terrible noise. Let me step back so it's not so loud. Um, and that is actually not... I. I I remember saying last time that I want to keep it within the mod as much as possible, okay? And I am I'm still going with that route, no doubt. But there's a few things that we cannot do in the mod, or it's just going to make it so much more awesome. Yay, we got our first nether star. Um, it's going to make it so much more awesome if we use things from a different mod to help us. Okay, they're not going to replace um, parts that are from immersive engineering and are uh additions to it let's say it like that um also um what i'm building here is super expensive it's this imaginary time block <laughs> i got everything else prepared but this right here bam i prepared the other check out one of these or actually two and just fyi i was not able to craft these in the me system i had to take these and put it into a crafting table and i believe it has to do with the output for this gives you two, but they actually don't stack. Um, here, when I take them, I cannot stack them again. So I think that there's an issue with that. So I had to craft those in the regular vanilla uh, crafting table. And now we got these four, and now we can make this guy. And what this does is going to help us grow the sugarcane and the melons tremendously fast. Um, and you guys see I have a few items left over. Why do I have... What? What? Oh, did I craft one too many? I know I crafted too many of these because I was actually going to craft two of them. And I'll show you in a minute why. But I am almost out of diamonds. I cannot afford it. <laughs> so one has to do right now. And that's what we're going with. And that's going to go right there. Bam. So a couple other things, you know, that are out of the mod is the solar panel. Harvester. The caches, of course, crafter, but all the other stuff is within immersive engineering as much as possible. And um, yeah, let me show it to you during the night. It might look pretty cool. I said that I'm going to build the factory and this is what it looks like. It took me quite a long time, especially with all the landscaping that I needed to do. Of course, I'm still going to dress it up, light it up, you know, plant stuff around. And then over here, um, I thought that instead of why is this like that hmm i'm gonna have to get two stones and put them in here uh instead of you know making this all you know sloped and so on i said why not just put a retaining wall so that it will look like and i tried to mix up the brick because the brick is quite overwhelming and that's why i went with nether brick for the roofing here it's all just show there's no functionality um and the walkways for now oh look at that that's cool actually um there's the the magnum torch down here where is it and the light shine through that is interesting huh okay let's put it like that and whoa, whoa i need you <laughs> give me my wrench back all right so let me know how you guys like it i i tried to make it as factory as possible uh with the brick and the windows i'd looked at a lot of um google image searches for old factories and so on and it's as close as I can get it, I think, with the blocks available. And I also noticed that a lot of these factories always have red doors. I don't know why. Dark red. And I went with this one, the glass one, because I think the other ones are really not that pretty. Um, no, that's not the right one. Where is my carpenter's hammer here? Let me just show you guys real quick. Um, I think this is the default door, which is the second one I would go with. I think it looks good, but it does remind me a little bit of a fire station. This one, I don't like it. Uh, this one is more for hidden walls to me. Uh, this one 
it's not too bad as a garage door but i still i think this one looks the coolest for in here i don't know i like being able to look out and so on so now this stuff here we already had last time the coke oven and so on but and i have not turned it on yet i just finished the setup just before and i didn't want to spend too much time on camera with that so i set it up before and i just wanted to show you how i set it up by the way these right here are factory blocks and i thought you know with these warning caution tapes i think it's actually quite cool and up here like i said there's there's no functionality it's just i wanted it to have more features more you know moldings and so on like this was one of the last things i did here i had just nether brick and then i'm like hey i'm gonna use upside down stairs and so on i i think it's pretty good and of course there's gonna be lots of stuff here that's why all this is laid out so i know where to put items so they are formed and i didn't show that last time let me it's empty right yes okay let me just show you guys in case you haven't seen this see it doesn't form you need to take this engineering's hammer and then just bam right click it and now it's formed and that's for every multi-block machine in this pack all right so let me get rid of this what i did over here and and it's it's very easy again i'm always trying to set these things up not using filters and i have not turned it on so i'm not sure if i maybe messed it up somewhere but i don't think so now i split this up these right here are the coke ovens they're getting coal and empty bottles and we're pulling out coke and creosite right so in this green out this red and the same for this over here out green coal and out green bottles and red is the full bottles in back into um the cash and down here red for the coke and then you see white and black which is in and out for the blast furnaces in goes the coke and the iron and out comes steel and that's it out or going into them black and black the coal and the iron and the white the steel goes back here and actually to make most of these parts today especially all these heavy engineering blocks and the steel scaffolding um i actually made a lot of steel with um mechanism because i can just not keep up with these um they they take too long um i think that once these are set up and now going all the time this is chunk loaded also we're gonna get a nice cushion of steel so i don't need to use the mechanism way anymore and i wanted to show you guys this here it's an ore dictionificator <laughs> from mechanism also takes steel to make but not a much and it's just like um the the digital miner right so i can for example here say uh what what's different ones ingot copper okay i just happen to notice and then when you do this you see the ingot copper and then you set here which type do you want to keep and actually i do want the thermal foundation but there is also the tinker's construct and immersive engineering and mechanism but ooh, x nylo but i want to make every copper that i have into this and then uh just save now it's here so now if let's see if i have any other copper i don't think i do um let's see can i make one i sh maybe let's just waste one real quick let's just see if maybe um the alloy smelter makes it something else bam no it made the it made it the thermal foundation one okay well anyway but for now if i have like the steel all the steel i made and so on i always turn into the immersive engineering version so later on this is going to be hooked up to the me um, and all other all other copper and so on is for example going to get exported here and then it turns it into the right one and we can import it back into the me so that's just you guys know or dictionary you can convert everything it doesn't need power so it's a really cool block here i'm i'm very impressed by that one i like it a uh, cooler thing is also when you pick it up i tried that right away it keeps the settings so you can move it and then there's other or dictionary like i think the unifier from mfr it doesn't keep the settings and so on which can turn it to you know a hustle so let's go ahead and turn this on and see so i first want to make coke so now these guys should yeah let's get coal and then once this one is full this should be starting over here uh come on please today hello are you full yes 
And oh. Well, that's pretty dumb. What? All right, let me turn on the. That makes no sense. Why would it be able to put coal in here? That's that's borderline dumb. Hmm. The same over here. I poo. Now my question is, check this out. Let me get the thing out real quick. All right, you stop. Let's try this again. You stop and give me all these back. I don't care if I lose some. Just give me back that. Because you guys see in the... Let me get this guy. In the GUI just now, you see there's blue and red. And I'm wondering if I can say... If I can change these sides. Because a lot of times with this engineering's hammer, you can change sides on some of the blocks. Now, I'm wondering if it... It depends on where you put stuff. So, like, on the top here, uh, how do we test this? Um, we can do that. Let me, now I need to go get filter. No, I don't need to get filters. We can change this by color. Let me get this. Now, I'm wondering if top is everything. And let's set this guy. So, coal is green. Now, we're going to have to change coal real quick to something else. Let's see here. Coal. Ah, I didn't want to do that. You knucklehead. Open it. I want this to be extract and coal. We are going to make. Let's make it orange. Sure. Bam. Coal is orange. And let's set. I cannot do this one. Okay. Coal is orange and bottles are green. Do I have any other green? No. Okay. So this one is going to be. Green in and red out, and this is going to be orange for coal, yes. Orange, ah, here we go, orange, insert orange. I want to see if you insert it from the side, if this is, it still fills it up. You got to be kidding me. That is very dumb. I know immersive engineering is getting an update very soon, so also that was the wrong th setting over here. My bad, guys. This is not supposed to be. This is supposed to be only with signal. Okay, so this guy is probably not on. Okay, because this is green. Let's see what happens when we tell him to set bottles. That puts bottles over here to the left. That makes no sense to me. Um... It shouldn't be able to put stuff into um, where it's not going. Only other thing is, of course, what happens if I turn them both on and now turn this off? It puts bottles and coal. It mixes. Uh, this is borderline. Okay, so now once we have something in there, it's going to be okay. But the problem is if it runs out. So now put coal here, please. Coal. <laughs> well guys maybe you have an idea on how i can make this so it puts the right stuff in the right stuff uh in the right slots because now my question is is it gonna do the same thing over here you know is it well i guess we can test it let's turn on the iron it should i wonder if it's gonna put iron in the bottom also i mean that would be ridiculous no, it doesn't. So this one is filling. Okay. So now I'm going to let this go. So we're going to start getting some cold coke. Um, this is, needs to be on. This is on. And then the cold coke, I guess. I'm going to let it go. I just want to collect a bunch of cold coke. And we have 256 more bottles. That should be enough to cover all this coal. Okay, guys. I'm going to I'm gonna keep thinking over this. Um Obviously, I don't need this now. So let's take this off again. And this is green and this is green. So I just got to set this one back to green. There we go. So now it inputs coal and bottles. And, you know, while there is something in the slot, it will just top them off. So there shouldn't be any problem. And it goes back. Now we have two. All right, cool. So 
that's the first thing. Sorry for wasting time on this, but I thought this is going to be smart enough to do what I wanted it to do. And let's continue now. Let me show you guys outside real quick what I did with the power. You guys remember I we had the power going down into, let me show you from the inside, to these capacitors that were up here. And then I mentioned that I'm not sure I'm going to get the power up there. And then I went back to the way I said it. I ran the wires up and out to these poles with the connectors. And the side connectors here are the ones that are coming from the kinetic dynamos. I think that's what they're called. And they're charging these capacitors and they're full, of course. And on top, their orange one is output, blue is input. I have them set these two come together and go into the building. And these two come together and go out in the back to our new garden area. Sorry, guys. I just had a cough attack. Um, and by the way, when you have vines here, you cannot run the cable. But it looks like the vine can grow back. So that's pretty cool. And out here, like there's the other garage door and it comes together here. And I had two garden platforms. Down here, I had the melons first and up here, sugarcane. And I had them planted and everything, and I think after 45 minutes, they were still not grown, barely grown. So I don't know if that is because of the jungle biome or what's going on, but this stuff grew really slow. And we're going to need a lot of this stuff, right? So I said that's where I want to go with this imaginary time block. And I am going to power that with solar, because I don't think that this power is going to be able to keep up at all. And now check it out. Um, I place this in the middle, nothing happens. But as soon as I'm going to put the solar panel, you guys watch. Um, I'm, I'm giving it very little power, so it's going to take a while. Because this needs 500 RF for every time it runs. But you guys see, it already grown stuff. So this is like a... Look at this. And that is only with the small solar panel. And it will never charge, I think. Um, well... I shouldn't say that. Maybe when everything is grown. And I made it, by the way, this way. Because when you have pumpk uh, melons or pumpkins and you give them multiple growing directions, they're going to they grow faster. Um, because I guess every time they check, they check all the surroundings. And if you only give them one block, then your chance is lower. So this way they have two blocks and it's going to grow faster. So I'm just going to leave this field down here empty for now. Maybe later on if... If we can afford it, maybe we'll make a second setup. But I think we're going to create enough of this stuff now to be able to keep up. And now, before I can set up the harvester to get all this stuff, we need to... Let's get all this stuff out. We need to set up the input, but the, the stuff that catches it first. Because this guy is full power. Um, it's the one I picked up at spawn. Also, the solar panel um, that I got here, the second one. It's the one from Spawn that where we had the Ender Pearl farm. And we don't need it anymore. It was really bad farm anyway. So what we're going to do here is first set up a cache here. And I'm actually going to... Ooh, I'm glad it didn't give me flint. That would have sucked. And another cache here. And we're going to have the, the harvester right there. And like always, I have my harvester always input into a chest first. Okay, and now I'm going to need one sugar cane so I can lock this. Actually, do I want it to go there or there? I want it to go. Yep, yeah, that's right. And let's get us some melons so we can lock this cache also. So now the empty hand shift, right click, locks them. And now, of course, I need to set this guy to always extract. There we go. And set these guys to input and input. And now we can close this up. We don't need that anymore. Now, the melons, we need to actually the melon seeds. So I made this Ender IO Crafter. And I'm going to set this guy to pull from the left and push to the right. And then here, we're going to have the second cache. So this is where all the seeds are going to go. And you still need to actually give me that. We need to tell him the recipe like that. And we can put them in here. And now we can give them power. This is going to start. Now I could hook this up to that power. Actually, why don't we do that? Let's see. I did say I want to try to stay as much as possible. So I'm going to need these two. And I'm going to need the harvester. So this should work like that. 
Oh, I need the wiring also. This wiring is so cheap. You know, it doesn't... You can go 16 block and it always just takes one. Bam. Bam. So now this guy should... Oh, look. Charges quite fast and we're already making melon seeds. Bam. Just like that. All this power, by the way, before I forget to mention it. If this power over here, these four wheels are not enough to handle what we're setting up today. Um, check out how wide this is, these four. This is, what is that? 3, 6, 9, 12, and 16. So about 28 with walls, probably 30 wide. We could set up an exactly the same thing again over here. Um, I think that would be cool. And then, you know, I would split it up that these four go to the farms and these four go in here where I right now have this cable going. All right. Sorry, I'm getting a little sidetracked here, but I want to make sure that I don't forget something I was thinking about earlier. And now we should be able to simply set up the harvester right there. Bam. Oh, I forgot one thing. Yes, of course. Okay, it is already melon, but only what it had directly in front. We need to get, make an upgrade. I forgot about that. Um, upgrade. And we're going to need a radius of 2, because right now it's 3x3 three three and that one is 7x7. Seven seven, so we need the tin upgrade. And there it is. Awesome. And let's go back down. you got to love travel anchors, right? <laughs> okay. And now when we give this guy the range upgrade, it's going to be able to reach the whole thing. And I also brought a drum. Um, because I would like to... I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, but I... Oh, whoa. Why did the place like this? What? I was standing back here when I put this down. What the heck is wrong with you? That is very odd. Okay, anyway, we got it. I put the range upgrade in here and it's gonna go... And it's gonna run out of power any second. Um, yes, and I brought this drum here. And this guy should... Yes, it's already putting the sludge in here. I do want to set up a sludge boiler here eventually, okay? Um, so I figured, you know, for now we just catch this. Um, because apparently these guys run faster if they don't have sludge. So this is probably going to fill up very soon uh, if this keeps growing the way it is. And now what is the other thing? Yes, is it? it's almost out of power. So now let's set this guy. I think we're going to have enough power back here. Let's set this up also to here. Bam. And it's full with power. Now my question is... Hmm. It already has them all processed. Because now, of course, we don't have any sunlight. Right? Hmm. Let's see if this can handle it. We'll see. I think I'm just going to have to let this go for a while. And then we can see, you know, okay, this can just not keep up. So now if we run this one to here also, bam, it's going to grow. All right. Now we're in business. I mean, look at this. Look at that. I kind of want to check over here right now. Oh, let me go vines. How full these guys still are. Right, this is clearly losing lots of power, no doubt. And this one is too. So eventually, I don't think this is going to be able to keep up. And that is because of that imaginary clock here. And that's my problem. Is I That was one of the reasons why I wanted to have this solar panel on there. So um, these machines always have power because it doesn't help me if this guy keeps growing everything, but I can't harvest it, right? So, yeah, I'm just going to let this go for a while and then probably going to replace once we have a little cushion here, right? Then I'm probably going to replace this with the solar panel again. All right. So now that we got this going, this is loud, quiet. We still have to bring them in, but we'll do that in a second because first now we have to set up the fermenter and fermenter and squeezer. Okay. Um, I don't want to double click because otherwise I pick everything up over here also so let's do like that like that and like that so let's set these up 
Um. Okay, now the thing is, and I want to double check just so I don't get it wrong. Ha! I made I made too many of these. That's why. Okay, I'm gonna need to go pick up two more of these light. I have two more of these. And now I got one left over of each one of these two, which kind of sucks. But it's okay. Those weren't hard. Uh, immersive. So now I got... Uh, they, when you craft them, you craft them in twos. And I thought I'm going to have one extra, but I just crafted too many. But that's okay. I, I kind of remembered it, but oh well. So this is how you built these guys. That was... Which one are we going to put where? I guess it doesn't matter. This mod is really a lot of fun to me. I'm really enjoying this mod. I love multi-block structures. I don't know. I always have. So that's the first one. And now this guy. I'm going to have to remember. The blue is fermenter. All right. And green is the squeezer. And apparently only the squeezer is industrial, not the fermenter. <laughs> Wait. Oh, okay. Thought I just picked them up, but I did. Okay, cool. So now my question is, it says, see, here's the thing is with these machines, it usually depends on where I right click them. Um, bam, like what just happened? What? Oh, wow. That scared me. I'm like, what? you guys saw that? What's going on here? Look away. Look there. No. You know, are you functional? Yeah, you're functional. I don't know what's going on with this. Is it maybe... No, that's all in the same chunk. This guy isn't. But that's fine. I don't think that's going to be... A... Okay, now it's studded. Whew. <laughs> and I like it because I wanted these to be in over here on the, on the front. Now, the only thing is, of course, we still have to find out... Um, because some of them, um, you can only input and output on certain parts. Fluids are output through any of the ports at the bottom of each side. Okay. Power is input at the top or bottom. Fluids are output through any of the, you know, each side. All right. And where do you put the items? We'll see. So right here, this is where we're going to have the fluids coming out. And hmm, I did bring drums for this. Let's get all this stuff out. Because I wanted to make myself a little cushion. Right? So drums, you need to... No, we don't. We can suck out of a drum from the top, can't we? I'm pretty sure we can. Yeah, I'm sure we can. So let's go ahead and go ahead with that. Let's set this up first. So I say we go there. Then we can put the drum right here. And um, these guys auto ejected. Um, I found that out test world. And right there. So then on the top here, once we set this guy up, we can pull out. Okay, and now we need to get the inputs in here. Now I forgot which one gets which. I think the squeezer gets the seeds and the fermenter gets the sugar cane. Yes. Let me turn off these ugly boundaries here. And we still need to get the power in here also. Let's start with that. We need two connectors and some wires. So, bam. And bam. Let's go with this one first. And I can't reach it right there. All right. Not bad. And by the way, let me show you one thing here real quick. It's, it might be interesting. This engineering voltmeter, when you right click on a capacitor or something, you know, it gives you information how much stored stuff is in it. But when you shift right click this connector, you see it's linked now. And let's go to the furthest one the power comes from, which is this capacitor right over here. And shift right click. You guys see we have a 15% loss in power. So that is one thing you might, might want to keep in mind. That if you build long distance. 
it's probably not the best idea because while we, one of these wheels only makes 90 RF so we could be running low but we'll see now this guy it says it has power Whaler just hasn't updated yet apparently it shows 0 or 32,000 and the same here but when I open it it shows 32,000 well whatever it's full so now let's run these things over here and that's the fluid duct we need the item ducts now guys i decided to go with item ducts because i think they're gonna look cool when we see all these items go around um it, i know it's probably not the best thing to do when it comes to terms of um server performance but i don't think it's gonna be a big problem have a few items move around excuse me um i last night i had a really upset stomach i had a terrible night um i i never have heartburn right but last night i woke up with with the worst heartburn i've ever had in my life uh, it was hurting my throat it was like burning and i have no idea what caused it um so it, I got it to go away and um, Echans, for example, told me an IRC out, should have drank some milk and stuff to get rid of it. I didn't think of that. Is this high enough? I think it is, right? Okay. Let's bring this over here. And dip. That was too many. All right. I'm making a mess here, but... You guys saw that I didn't want it to touch the, the cable over there and stuff. So that's why I ran it back one. So we got this. And let's bring it out. I'm having so much fun with this project. I really have. I mean, it's it's after the quintuple ore processing mechanism the in Mod Sauce 1. This is definitely the, the most complex... Wait, am I all the way up here? How does this gonna look when I go through the glass? I can live with that. I think it looks okay. Yeah. Okay. Alright, how do we wanna go here? Okay, it does not interfere with the cable. Let's come over like that. Should I gone higher? No, but let's go like this. I just kind of want to, you know, stay away from the cables, even though I could clip them and so on. But it's... I think it's cooler like this. Right here, it still works. All right, good. Look how fast this is going. This guy stays full. This guy cannot keep up, but... It's fine. We got tons of seeds. <laughs> tons of sugarcane. Holy shnikes. Wow. This imaginary time block is crazy. Okay. So now, of course, we still need to set up two servos. One there. And one there. And I'm really hoping that these machines are smarter than these right now. Not that I'm going to have the seeds go in the fermenter and industrial squeezer gets sugarcane you know what i'm 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 not even gonna risk it sorry guys we are gonna make two filters i'm not gonna risk it bam all right and let's go back and now i need one sugarcane and one melon ah uh, no one seed and one sugarcane all right, so this one is the fermenter. This is the guy that gets the sugarcane. So there's a filter and whitelist only sugarcane. And you are going to get whitelist only melon seed. All right. Let's go ahead and turn these two on and see if we're starting to produce some of these oils. Let's see if they're going. All right, they're going. I, I actually, I almost went with the regular item ducts, so we don't have that yellow. But I was actually thinking it looks kind of cooler because of the color, so I did went with the impulse. So this guy goes in here, and it's starting to do something, and bam, check it out. We already have ethanol. 
And over here, nothing yet. Plant oil. Bam! Awesome! Sweet. All right, we're at 36 minutes, but we are going to finish this today. Um, the, this part that I still have planned, which you guys can see. The next one is a, a little bigger machine, but I want to get... I can leave this here. Let's get this out. This, this. I shouldn't need any of them. Let's just get all of it out here. All right, so this one... I kind of remember, I, I placed them the way you need to set them up, but you know what, let's just do it via the book, who cares? So let's get the book out, let's get this all up here, light, medium, and the scaffolding, okay. So the machine is right there. Okay, so it's two, 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 all right. So it has them like this. And then the plus with the light machine frames. And then two heavies. And now the th thing is that we might have to rebuild this one time because check it out here. On one side, there's a light engineering and on the other side, there's a heavy. And I don't know if that has anything to do with what side we click on is gonna have the control panels and i want the control panels to be here so i'm gonna put the light one there and the heavy here and just fill actually i think i did one wrong here yeah the one in the middle is not here okay and then this one is just six on this side and six on this side okay let's hit it and see which way it forms? Ben, no? Okay. Do I need to click on this one? Yes. So this is exactly the other way that I wanted it. <laughs> so let's break this guy. And this guy. So the light one goes here and the heavy goes here. And now when we form it, yes. Um we can put a lever here so it stops processing and this is actually the output the biodiesel which is gonna go to the generator right here right so let's go ahead and input these two from these sides um okay and impulse this one right there okay we go up i need you don't connect there. And should we go... Let's just go over like this. That gives me three blocks to walk under. I think that is good enough. Oops. It's kind of funny how they connect to every part of the machine, but it actually needs to go into that hole right there. So we got this one set up, and... Bam, bam. I'm going to need to look up the name of this mod maker because that person really deserves a lot of credit. It's such a fun mod. Uh, okay. And now, of course, let's put... We need two servos. One right there. Always. And one right there. Always. And you see it's already filling over there with both. And I believe... All right. This is filling. And we're gonna do the same thing here. Oops. Gonna put one like that, and then we're gonna put a drum on top of this. Oh, duh. <laughs> it still needs power. Um, where does the power go? Where do you get power? Here? Okay, that might be able to come from over there. Let's see. I hope that our power network can handle these many machines. If not, like I said, then we're just going to add four more. Bam. These? Yes, it reaches it. Cool. A little hazard there, right? Oh, and it's already doing it. Wow. This machine doesn't make any noise. Wow. Okay. That's pretty sweet. All right. So, guys. That is as much as I wanted to set up today. So now we got the diesel. 
And next time we can set up the actual generator. Um, yeah, it's 41 minutes. We cannot do this today anymore. So I, I did plan it as good as I could. I figured how much I can do. And let me just empty this so I can prepare all this again for the next episode, which is going to be for me right now. I'm going to get all this stuff ready to make the generator and the crusher. And then hopefully we're going to be able to actually process the ore next episode. It's, isn't this cool? I, I really like it. Now that it has all these pipes and wires, it looks like a factory to me, doesn't it? I really enjoyed it. Guys, let me know how you liked it, and if you guys have any tips or recommendation, tricks, and so on, let me close these hatches. And I'm going to keep my eye on the power, of course, too, now over the next hour or so while I craft the rest of the machines and everything I need. And, yeah, if you enjoyed the episode, please don't forget to hit that like button because it really helps me out. I'm still a very small channel, and it gets me up there on recommended videos and so on. Oh, I think this is the screenshot right here, huh? Oh, that's a nice one. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so I show up on your feed when I upload the next videos and so on. And on that note, guys, i talk to you tomorrow. Uh, take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.